What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are showcasing one of my favorite Pokemon in Series 12. We are rocking out with a Sand Rush Extra Drill team that also features Sandstream, Hippowdon, and we got the Life Orb Yabelta on the team as well. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. We're, we're at about like 12,500 subscribers. That's a huge step. That's a huge step. Let's keep it going. Keep that number going up. So subscribe to the channel. But let's get started here in the top left corner with the one and only is asking for our team preview. We have the boy. He has Interpret Sword alongside with the Rust Sword ability and item. You know, top in the battle and get an attack boost every single time. And then we're rocking out with a fairly normal moveset, which is Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Protect, and Play Rough. Really can't go wrong with it. It is just so dominant. It, you, you just have to use it. You just have to use it with Zacian. Right next to him is going to be Wimscott. Wimscott's here for support and speed control. We got Prankster, obviously, as its ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as its item. We got Tailwind, Helping Hand, Moonblast, and Taunt, which is another fairly normal moveset for any Wimscott. Middle left is my favorite Pokemon. We got the one and only x -Jill. Such a cool Pokemon, and its ability allows him to double its speed in the Sandstorm. We have the Assault Vest as an item, so it can soak up some special attacking shots. Then we got Iron Head, Rock Slide, High Horsepower, and Brick Break for two stab moves, alongside with two coverage moves. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Hippowdon. Hippowdon is a Pokemon that's going to pair up with x -Jill and allow us to set the weather and allow x to double its speed. We got Sandstream ability, alongside with Citrus Berry as an item. We also rock and yawn to put Pokemon to sleep. High horsepower for our lonely stab move. Slack off to go to sleep and recover some HP. And we also have that protect for our fourth and final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Tapu Fini. The lovely little Tapu Fini. This Pokemon is really good in all different situations. We have the Misty Surge for Surge Control. Alongside with the leftovers as, as our item so we get HP at the end of every single turn. We got Moon Blast. We got Protect. We got Calm Mind set up. And then we got Muddy Water for our final stab move. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Life Orb Yabelta, and Life Orb Yabelta hits like an absolute truck. We're probably going to be Dynamaxing him a good bit, so just be prepared for some big damage with this guy. We got Dark Aurora as its ability, and then like I said, the Life Orb as its item. Then we're rocking Dark Pulse, Oblivion Wing for stab and HP recovery. We got Heat Wave for coverage, and last but not least, we're rocking with Protect. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. The rental code is chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Life Orb Yavelta and Sand Rush Extra Drill Series 12 team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a kind of meta team. He has the Zacian, the Shadow Rider Calyrex, the Rillaboom, Incineroar, and the Regilecki, but he's also rocking Galarian Zapdos. So Galarian Zapdos, really good Pokemon. Just got to watch out for its Defiant ability so we don't proc it and allow that Pokemon just to dominate the battle. But how am I playing this one? How is Jeans going into this? I could go into Sandstream combo. That's looking pretty good. I'm not even going to lie. That is looking pretty good here. It's looking really good. You know, I'm going to rock into it. Pound on Extra Drill right off the rip. I love it. We'll bring Yvelta in the back end. And then last but not least, got to be Zassian, right? Got to be Zassian. He's just too good. He's just too good. Yeah, we're going to rip him with both of these guys. I just feel like it's our best bet. We can get uh, physical attack boost. We can get, well, not physical attack. We can get a uh, physical defense boost and special attack or special defense boost with its, uh, with extra drills, Dynamax moves. So I really do like it. Extra is so good. His move pool is just phenomenal for Dynamax. You get the steel spike. You get the quake. It's just, it's just great. It's just great all it really is. You just can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with it. But let's see who this guy's going to actually rock into. I wonder who he's going to do. But yo, question of the day, guys. What are your top three favorite Pokemon from Gen 8? I feel like we don't see a lot of Gen 8 Pokemon in the uh, Sword and Shield ranked battles. So I was thinking about that. I was just like, let me know your guys' answers for Gen 8 Pokemon. Because I really like Dreadnought. I like Rapalock. I like Scourge. I like a lot of different Gen 8 Pokemon. But we just don't see them anymore. Corviknight's cool as well. You just don't see him. You just don't see him. He's going to rock into Hip Out. Or not Hip Out. <laughs> He's going to rock into Real Boom. Alongside with Galarian Zapdos. And uh, we could definitely Dynamax and go for the Rock Fall if we want to. We could go for the Rock Fall. But I'm leaning more towards like a Steel Spike. Because like who could he swap into? Or do we think he's going to stay in there with the bird? There's no way he stays in there with the bird, right? There's no way he stays in there with the bird. I might go into a Steel Spike. I might swap it to Zacian. I'm, you know, I'm going to go for Steel Spike. I'm going to take this defense boost. I'm going to take this defense boost. And you know, I'm just going to yawn into this thing. Let's give a nice little yawn in the roll boom. Nice lovely little yawn. We're going to Dynamax here. And I can't believe he's staying in. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Staying in with the bird, dude. But I'll take defense boost all day. I will definitely take defense boost all day. 
I would have dropped the rock if that was the case. Just absolutely dump all that Pokemon and went from there. But I'm kind of hoping he Dynamaxes the bird at this point. The lovely little bird. The lovely little bird. Bird's really cool. Is he Dynamaxing? He is Dynamaxing. Okay, that's cool for us. Wow, I could have just dropped a rock. I could have just absolutely just picked up a slab of rock and just sent it right down on this bird. We'll do that next turn, though. I'll take this defense boost all day. Defense boost will be really, really good because there's two physical attackers out on the field. Plus, I do believe he has acid in the back end. I can just really benefit from that. And we have the Salt Vessel next drill, so he's going to be bulky on both sides now. We love to see it. Fake out coming out here. Yep, he's going to drop a fake out. That's cool by me. That's cool by me. Hit Paladon wasn't doing anything special. And Steel Spike is going to fly. Steel Spike. Bang. Doing half damage, which is huge. Which is huge. So now I do not have to go into a Rock Fall. I can just go into another Steel Spike if I want to. Or I could read a max guard. Ooh. Always oh, changing weather. How dare you? Looks like we are dropping rocks. Looks like we are dropping rocks. Looks like we are dropping rocks. Wow. That's scary. That's scary. I do not think another uh, max flare can take me out. Even in this drought, I do not think it was going to be able to take me out. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine to be able to drop another rock. Unless he doubles down into me. Wow, rock is super effective. I thought it was. Whack. That is whack. Because he's part fighting. Okay, cool. That's fine. Let's see what's going to happen here. He's going to go for a grass guy. Cool. Into Hippaladon. Hippaladon should be able to soak that up. Beautiful. Okay, I can yawn onto Real Boom all day and eat my Citrus Bang. So I can slack off next turn if I wanted to. Go back to full HP. But I just got to hope we can eat up this flare. Let's see what he does. He's going to go straight for Knuckle. I'm so cool with that. I'm so cool with that. He's going to Knuckle. That's going to be super effective. He's going to get that attack boost all day. And then from here, what do I do? What do I do? Because this Rockfall is probably not going to take him out. I don't think Rockfall is going to take him out. It's going to be kind of close, but it's definitely not going to take him out. It, what if we get a crit? It doesn't take him out. It's not stat. So we're going to change the weather back. He could change the weather back, but we do have first turn priority now. Unless, you know, he grass guides into my, uh, my exit drill. He could do that. He could definitely do that. I could swap a on now. I could definitely swap the pout on. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what to do here. This is solid right now. This is solid. We have a yawn on, uh... We have a yawn over onto... Robin, which is great. And I, I could slack off for HP, but, you know, I'm just gonna start chipping up some damage over on him. And I'm gonna go for this, uh... This Steel Spike. I don't think Grass Guy can take out my, uh, extra drill, can it? It's gonna be kind of close. We're gonna hope now. We're gonna definitely hope now. Let's see what he does. Grass Guy comes in and eats up. Oh, dude, Grass Guy's too good. It's way too good. It's way too good. Grass Guy dumps on me. Yeah, I should have known it was gonna dump on me, but I had no way of guarding or anything, so... It was kind of tough. Max Duckle's gonna fly. Ooh. Ooh. That one hurts the soul. But good thing is, uh, they don't really have any speed on their side right now. They're really not rocking with any speed, so I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. High horsepower flying. Uh, send it this way. And Robo's gonna go to sleep, which is good. So Robo is now gonna be slumped, and I think it's gonna be a good time for me to swap my hip out on. Or I keep hip out on him with a plus one defense. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna slack off this turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slack off, bring in whoever, pick up some kills and roll off from there. What do I bring out? Go for a heat wave. Oh yeah, that's probably your play. You felt this should be faster than that bird, right? What's your speed sitting at? 166. Should be faster than that bird. Should be faster than that bird. Or we can play it safe on him, but I'd rather save my Zassian. Because I can Heat Wave, start chipping up damage, slack off, get some HP. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it. So we're going to go into Yveltz here. Yveltz tall. Dynamax is over. Gorgeous. And as long as I outspeed, we can we can pick up some big damage here. We can take out this Zapdos, no problem. And then uh, Robin can take some nice damage. But we're going to do that, and I'm just going to slack off. Need my HP back. Need my bulky hip out on here. Robo slumped. Going for Grass Guy. Give out to go next, please. Yvelta does not go next. That hurts his soul. Who's he going after? He's going to go after Yvelta and... And take me out, no problem. And take me out, no problem. That one hurts. That one hurts. I get he's plus two. I get he's plus two, but that one hurts. Really outspend me. I wonder what his speed is, dude. I wonder what his speed is. Actually, those things could be choice scarf. A lot of them are. A lot of the birds are choice scarf. That hurts. But still, we got to hit Paladon back here. With plus one on the defense board. I'm guessing he has Zassian. He's going to pull him out soon. I can high horsepower and rip into that thing. But yeah, Robo's kind of scaring me with the grassy guy and all that. But I'm going to send out Zassian. Or is he sending out Zassian? 
decent now, Zassian. Okay, so we're going to high horsepower in that slot. And I'm going to go after this Rule Boom. Because he might protect Zassian just trying to waste out some of the turns. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Plus one on both boards. He sells one more Pokemon in the back end, too. Just one more. Uh, what do we go from here? Probably Blade. Blade's our best bet into Rill Boom, and I'm just going to high horsepower. So actually, I could yawn. Yawn could be your play. I'm with a yawn all day. I'm with a yawn all day. I'm going to withdraw his That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Who's he going to go into? Incineroar. For the minus one, we're going to yawn this thing. He's just going to swap him. That's tough, dude. Wow, dude. High horsepower was definitely the call. That's going to do me so bad. That's going to do me so bad. That's going to do me so bad. Behemoth Blade's not going to kill. He's just going to swap after that. I'm just going to high horsepower. I might double down into that Zassian slot after this. That's not bad damage right there. That is not bad damage. No one's going to come out here. He's going to be forced to swap or parting shot. I'm, I'm going to double down in that slot. I'm doubling down into that slot. High horsepower. He could fake me out, which I, I can definitely see happening, but I think Grass is gone, which could be a huge step for us because Real Boom can't really do much. Cool. Don't be so close. He's definitely swapping. So, I'm, you know, I'm just going to Sacred Sword here. And then just go into a high horsepower. And double straight down to the slot. He swaps in Zassian. He swaps in Zassian, but still. Still, dude. Those Intimidates doom. They're scaring me, man. They're scaring me. And if I had to guess, uh, Incineroar's rocking a berry, too. I wonder if he's going to fake out this turn. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. You know which all real boom? Cool with that. So he wants to come back out here with the grassy terrain. So this guy's just playing slow swaps. That's fine. Incineroar faking out here. Probably. If I had to guess. Robin can come back out here and fake out again. This battle. This battle. He does not fake out. Wow. Take a sword comes through here. Yo, high horsepower. Finish this thing off. No, the berry, dude. <laughs> I hate this game. The berry does me dirty. The berry does me real dirty. Let's see. Party shots coming out. Dude, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Bro, leave me alone. I'm going to start needing some crits. I'm going to start needing some crits, dude. He's going to go in the real boom. He's just going to soak this up all day. Plus, the terrain's going to come back out. Oh, Lord. Okay. What's the genes play here? This is tough. This is so tough. High horsepower comes out. Uh, and we're chipping. We're getting there. We're doing some damage. Sandstorm goes subside. And, uh, let's roll out. Our, our play, we definitely probably would have won this battle if we would have just brought out Zassian before your belt. But I, I, I was thinking a little bit too much. Definitely thinking a little bit too much. But we're going to bleed. Actually, we could probably just Sacred Sword, right? Just in case he wants to swap. I'm just going to yawn into Zassian. We gotta hope the Sacred Sword KOs. Oh my lord! Real Boom, don't wake up here. Cool. Sacred Sword, please KO. I don't think it is. This game, dude. This game's doing me so bad. Okay. We're gonna go for Behemoth Blade. Over on here, try to KO you, and then we're just gonna high horsepower this way. He's gonna swap or party shot. He's doing one or the other. Robin wakes up. Grassy guy coming in hot. My boy should be able to bulk that out a little bit. Love you. Love you. And Behemoth Blade coming in hot. Alright. Robin's gone finally. Cool. Loving it. He's probably gonna try to party shot this turn. Get off one more turn like that. Cool. You really real dead. I like if we get a crit, we're thriving. We should go for a flare blitz. And who are you going after? Dacian, that's fine. We should be able to eat. We do eat. That's gorgeous little eat. Yo, get a crit here. Get a crit. And I'll love you forever, hip out on. Get a crit. No. <laughs> no. Okay, uh. What is our play? What is our play? We're sitting inside. We need crits. We need crits if we're gonna win this battle. But yo, what a first battle. What a first battle. Our opponent just played the swaps at the end, which was gorgeous. But, uh, ooh. Hold up. Wait a minute. He's asleep. Um. 
I could protect Zacian and yawn onto his Zacian. We have options. We have options here. I'm thinking about doing that. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up, wait a minute. We're gonna have to play the sleep game. There's a chance. There's a chance unless he goes after Hippowdon and takes me out this turn. Let's get it. 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 Let's go. He slumped. He slumped. Put this one to sleep. Put this one to sleep. All right. What's my play now? What's my play now? Take out Incineroar? Yeah, double down into Incineroar here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're double straight down into Incineroar. Double down. I really want to slack off, but I have to get rid of this Incineroar. Because Asian can go to sleep next turn. Oh, my lord. We gotta, dude. I need a. I'm gonna need a crit. Take us through. Oh, we outspeed. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Okay, we bring him down the red. He has to go after my Zassian, right? Go after my Zassian. Or go after my Hippowdon, because Hippowdon might be able to eat that up. Let's see what he does. He does go after. Eat that up, Hippo. Hippo! 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 Yo, Hippo. Hippo getting after it! Hippo getting after it! Let's go! Incineroar dead, Zacian asleep. I can slack off, get some HP back. Zacian's gonna start chipping damage. <laughs> we got a shot. We got a shot, ladies and gentlemen. We got a shot. We have a legitimate shot right now. Okay. What's my plan? What's my what's my plan to go into? What move am I going into? Probably blade, right? I'm just hoping that we can get a crit. We're due for a crit. We are so due for a crit. Hmm. Sigurdsson, he has no defense boost, so Sigurdsson's out of play. Yeah, we're gonna go into Behemoth Blade. Behemoth Blade, and we need some more HP, baby. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. Behemoth Blade coming in hot. Coming in hot, yo. Yo, what a first battle. What a first battle. Chipping. Chipping some damage. Dacian's slump. We just need two turns sleep. We need two turns sleep from him all day. We need two turns sleep from him all day. I'll slack off twice in a row. Oh yeah, give me that HP. Two turns sleep, baby. Same thing. Run it. Run it. Give me my HP back. My Zassian outspeeds too, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. Which is lovely. Do one more turn sleep and we're thriving this battle. Nice, nice, nice. Got it down to half. Sleep. Let's go. Let's go. Give me my HP. Give me more HP. Oh my. Dude, there's no way we pull this off. There is no way we pull this off. All right. Now we go Behemoth Blade. We rock straight into our high horsepower. I want to see your stats. Hold up. What's, what's, my, what's my boy's stats? What's my boy's stats? Hit Paladon's minus two. That is ugly. But we're plus one on defense. And this thing is minus two. That's ugly as well. How are we minus one? Oh, okay. He party shot. I was going to say, how are we minus one on special tagging? But he party shot one of the turns. All right, high horsepower behemoth blade. Run it up. Run it up. He has to go after Zassian. He's not going to be able to kill my hip out on at full health with a plus one defense boost. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, too good. And he gets a three turn sleep, yo. That goes to show never give up on the Pokemon battles. Your boy is so clutch. Oh my God, we miss our high horsepower. It's all good. We're thriving here. We are thriving here. But yo, dude, how do we clutch that up? I'm a god. I'm a god. That deserves a like, yo. You guys haven't liked the video yet? Like up the video because of this victory. Clutching up with a Hippowdon. A Hippowdon. 2v3 with minus attacks. We're just thriving here. We bring that Zacian to red. Zacian does wake up. He's going to go for a Behemoth Blade of his own. He's going to take out my Zacian. And then my boy Hippowdon is going to land his high horsepower. And we're going to say thank you guys for coming out. GG's. 1-0 for today's video, right? We could actually miss another one if we wanted to. My boy should be able to eat up like two behemoth blades. See, high horsepower comes out here. And he connects this one. Thank you for coming out here. Get on out my game. GG's to our opponent. That might have been my clutchest victory in all of Pokemon Sword and Shield. I noticed we had a chance to actually put the Zacian to sleep and roll off from there. And that is exactly what we did. And then he made the mistake of going after my Hippowdon instead of taking out my uh, 
my Zacian and then my Paladon ate up. He went to sleep. We recovered HP and it was GG's from there. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against one of the best teams for Series 12. Zacian, Groudon, Charizard, Incineroar, Storm Drink, Ashton, alongside with Grimstone. Okay, how am I playing this one? What is Jeans doing here? How is Jeans doing this? Uh, the Belta, I might just want to bring in the Dynamax. Really good Dynamax. Lovely Dynamax. Could go here alongside Whimsy. I'm leaning towards it. I like that. A little whimsy action. A little whimsy action. Get some speed for us. Zacian and then Tapu Tapu. Tapu Finny. Finny Finny. I'm digging it. I like it. I do enjoy this. Let's do it. Because I don't really see him bringing the Storm Drain Gashon. I really don't see him bringing that Pokemon, right? It's not like we have like a, 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 a team that's like heavy on water. Like a Kyogre Rain team or anything like that. So I just don't see him bringing Storm Drain Gashon. But I still have to keep it in the back of my head. Because I have Tapu Finny on the field. Or in my team. So we definitely have to keep that in the back of the head. Just make sure that we remember it. He's going to go Grim Charles Ascian. That's real cool. But dude, I can't believe we won that last battle. That is hilarious, yo. Like I said, yo, that deserves a like. And if you're not subscribed, that deserves a sub, yo. That deserves a sub. That was insane. That was insane. He's going to end up leading these two boys. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What is Jeans player? Just Dynamax Max Flare. Go here. And then... uh. Good helping hand, but I'd rather just tailwind this one. Take speed control. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Let's do it. 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 I wonder what he's going for with Grimstar, because Grimstar kind of scary. Grimstar kind of scary. <laughs> Grimstar too good. Grimstar way too good. But we're gonna Dynamax this Shield and this thing hits like an absolute truck. This thing hits like a truck. A truck ain't even a word. Like an 18 wheel truck that is on two more trucks. That is on a boat. That's how hard this thing hits. <laughs> this thing hits like a monster. I'm gonna send a tailwind. Beautiful. What is uh Grimmy going for? What is Grimmy going for? Don't scream me. Oh, oh, what's he going for? Spirit break, maybe? He's not going for a prankster move. Well, I'm just gonna get in here and there it is, yo. It's asking out of my game. Big time early great KO. It's always good we can get rid of a a Zassian without it doing anything. Is he going for spirit break? He's gotta be going for spirit break, right? Drop on a special attack. Yeah. The spirit break comes through here. That's fine. I wish we had policy at that point. That's gonna drop my special attack. I'm kind of fine with that. Uh, from here, I, I think I'm just going to taunt up onto the. Uh, oh no, we can't prankster onto Grimstar. Can we? No, we can't. We can't. He's dark. He's dark type, right? Very dark. Yeah. So we can't prank or we can't taunt that uh that Grimmy game. So we're just gonna get after this guy right here. Bye. Or I can just start sending moon blasts. Get a special defense drop. Oh, that's probably a better play. Get a special defense drop on him and then just uh, moon blast across this way. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot because we still have the top of Finny in the back end. We can get some work done, especially with a uh, Pokemon with special defense drops. It's gorgeous. It's lovely. We love it. It's actually good we actually set the heat that turn. It's gonna waste it one more turn because now it starts at four because we already wasted a turn instead of him coming out with the crowd on and resetting it to its max. So. Kind of with that. Because the sun could come back to bite us. He's going to Dynamax you out on. He's going to say, Ayo, I'm dropping a rock on you. He's going to drop a rock and probably KO my Yvelta. But still, my Yvelta should be able to get off a shot. Should be beautiful. Get that special defense drop. And maybe, just maybe, we can eat up a rock. Just maybe. But I don't think we are. I do not think we are. But rock isn't sad for him. Gorgeous. He's going to set up. There's the light screen. I knew I knew he had screens set up right now. I knew he was ready to rock screens. Oh, Wimscott goes first. That's that stinks. I didn't want Wimscott to go first. But yeah, Wimscott goes first. I want the special defense uh, drop first. But we're gonna go there, we're gonna get the special attack drop there, and we're gonna drop a max dark this year. Get a little bit of damage even through the light screen. It ain't bad, it ain't bad. We know Groudon's bulky. We know Groudon's bulky. But there's a nice little drop. We are minus one on special attack, and Groudon's dropping the rock. I wouldn't mind that because that changes weather. I go for steel spike. Givelta? No, Whimsy. What is he still a Sash? We do love a good old Focus Ash. We do love a good old Focus Ash. Now we're chilling here with Focus Ash. He's probably going to set up the Reflect. He's going to get that defense boost. And you know, I'm going to keep dropping special defense. I'm just going to keep dropping special defense onto that thing. I'm going to go there and then just Moon Blast. Yeah, because this Moon Blast, I think now should be able to take out the uh, Grimstarl. It's going to be cut it close. Maybe bring it down to red. We'll see. Moon Blast coming down from Whimsy. Come on, Whimsy. Do him dirty, yo. Whimsy Cot. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Little fluff ball. Picking up a big KO. We love to see it. 
There goes this. Max Darkness is going to fly. And I wonder what, who Groudon's going to go after. Because now if he goes after Whimsicott, it's like, okay, you just wasted a, a turn on a uh, on a 1 HP Whimsicott. But I don't mind if he takes out you about the Whimsicott's got that special attack move. Oh, no, he's going to do this. Pick up the double throw. Okay. Never mind. Eat this up somehow. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot. And I think we have one more turn left in Tailwind. Yeah, we have one more turn left in Tailwind. One more turn left in Tailwind. Yvelta survives on eight. And we should bring out you at this point. I'm going to bring out Finny at this point because, A, there's no drought going on here. He's minus two in special defense. Yvelta can make a minus three. I can just drop a nice big old water. Oh, yes. Charizard comes out here too. Charizard comes out here. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Right? I have one more turn left in Tailwind. I, I do, right? I do, right? I believe I do. Check it. Yes, one more turn. He could definitely go for double protect, which is kind of scary. But uh, from here, what do I do? I try to get some HP recovery back. Probably would rather go into you. Just because his uh, special defense is down. Probably get some more damage off there. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to muddy water. I could calm mine. I'm thinking of calm minding. I really am because I, they might double protect. I probably should have calm mined. They are going to double protect. That's like his last ditch out of here. Let's see. Yeah, there's one. There's one. Do not protect the ground on. Keep the ground on him. Cool. He keeps ground on him. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. That's fine. We'll take a little bit of HP back here. And Muddy Water's going to fly through here, too. Muddy Water might be able to pick up KO on the ground on. Let me get some damage off here. Let's do it. Mm, not enough. Not enough. He's so bulky. So bulky. He's going to go for the Quake now. And that's going after Finny. That means my boy Yvelt is still in this battle. He's going to go after Finny. Finny soaks. Finny soaks. But now we're sitting in a tough spot. Tough spot. Battle's gonna be super close. Super close. Because Charizard should outspeed my Yvelta, right? I wonder what he's gonna do. He's gonna drop a Heat Wave. Heat Wave might come through and do me dirty. Tailwind's gone. Not our Tailwind, dude. Our Tailwind was such a huge factor. We still have Zashi in the back end, but like, dude, Charizard's probably ripping with Blast Burn, something along those lines, you know? They should be able to take him out. I'm going with Muddy Water. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. One of you guys. I, I need one of them to get off a shot. If one of them gets off a shot, I think we have this battle. If one of them can get off a shot. Ancient power coming in here. I think we lost this one. That's going to take out my Yvelta all day. Do not get the stat boost. Do not get the stat boost. And Groudon goes first, right? Yeah, Heavy Slam. Mmm. Mmm. Heavy Slam comes in hot. Later, Finny. No, dude. Now we're sitting in a 2v1. A 2v1 up against a Charizard and a Groudon. A Groudon with super effective ground, ground moves and a Charizard with super effective fire moves. God dang it. Now imagine if we had x right now. Oh my lordy. A Rock Slide coming out here? Wow, it would have been gorgeous. But there was no way we weren't bringing Zassian. Okay. It's a Gene Supply. We outspeed. Who are we going to eat up a shot from? Who are we going to eat up a shot from? That's a real question. Who can we eat up a shot from? I mean, if Charizard's only rocking, Charizard's only rocking Heat Wave. I feel like we can eat up a Heat Wave. I feel like we can eat up a Heat Wave. So Behemoth Blade's gonna fly. We're gonna take out Ground. We're gonna say that he goes for Heat Wave here. That has a chance of missing, Anna, and we might be able to eat up a Heat Wave. Blast Burn, no shot. He's rocking Heat Wave. Maybe, just maybe, we can eat that up and get off a chance here. Blast Burn, of course, man. Of course, we're dead. All day. All day. Of course, yo. Blast Burn. <laughs> if I knew he was rocking Blast Burn, I would have I tried taking him out. But we really need to just take on that guy and hope that he's going for Heat Wave. But there it is. One on one. Let's hop into a third and grab ourselves a winning record. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a G-Max Pikachu, Kai Ogre, and Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Lux out Wimscott, Incineroar, and Grimstrong. Do we bring out the Weather Squad? I'm leaning towards it, yo. Weather Squad's looking pretty cool. I'm, I'm leaning towards leading extra and bringing Hip Out on in the back. Just kind of like swap him out. Because, you know, he has the Kyogre. We got to definitely watch out for that. So, extra could come out here. But Incineroar could be could be tough lead for us. So, you know what? I'm going to lead Yvelta alongside with that. Because I just feel like Yvelta could be solid. Could definitely be solid. So, we're going to do that. We're going to bring Hip, Hippie Hip Out on in the back. 
And then last but not least, Zassian. Gotta bring Zassian. We gotta bring Zassian. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. But yeah, both battles have been really good. First battle was so clutch. I'm so amazed we won that one. Second battle was game of inches, yo. Blast burn doing his dirty. But uh, our opponent played good at the end there. We got that grout on. He had that Charizard. Working wonders. Always a good combo. Always a good combo. But let's see who this guy ends up leading. Probably Incineroar. Pikachu and... Okay. So is he gonna is he gonna go with the whole G Max thing? Is he gonna go with the whole G Max thing? Because if that's the case, you know, I'm gonna swap and go into Max Queen. I'm with it. I'm with it. Because then none of his moves will affect us. Oh yeah. All day. Let's do it. Send it this way. Swapping your belt into hip out on. If he wants to go for that G Max Volt Crash, that's fine. We got two ground Pokemon out on the field. I don't know what he's gonna do with that. Let's see what he does. Let's see what our boy does. And then, not gonna lie, after next turn, I think I'm gonna predict the swap of the Kyogre and swap my hip out on instantly. Or I'm gonna yawn on this. See how this one plays. Hip out on's gonna come out here. Yeah, give me weather. Give me weather. Give me weather, baby. Here is Pikachu. Dude, Pikachu is so cool. He's adorable, but he's scary when he Dynamax. Hopefully, he's Dynamaxing him. We're Dynamaxing our boy. I hope he is. Because I think in a Talent, will Pikachu be faster in a Talent? But again, what's he gonna do? Go for like a max overgrowth. Like my, my boys will be able to eat that. You can't go for a Volt Crash, which is gorgeous. We're just hoping he Dynamaxes and wastes his Dynamax here. We, this could be like enormous for us. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Dynamax Pikachu or Gigantamax Maxes. Unless he's, <laughs> he throws out Whimsicott. That would be hilarious. Nah, it's Peak. 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 I love it. I love it. it. Cracks up every time. But uh, yeah, he Dynamax the Peaky. And we're going to quake it. We're going to say, hey, yo, Pikachu, do me a favor. Get on out of my game, dude. Later, Pikachu. Easy. Easy KO. Please quit the battle. Please just, like, pop up. Communication issue. <laughs> I would love it. But great play by us. Swapping in. Predicting the Pikachu getting the Dynamax. I'm surprised he didn't tell win. You just think he was straight up out speed of me? What's he going for here? A moon blast. I oh, or say less. So now this thing doesn't have focus edge due to the buffets, but he's definitely gonna bring out Kyogre. And if he brings out Kyogre, what's going to be my play? Oh, yeah, that's that's a that's a tough that's a tough one right there. I don't have guard. I should be able to eat up a water spot. I have a soul vest. Could be good. I could protect the hip out on. Go from there. Yeah, that's gonna be have to be my play. Protect Hippo, right? Yeah, I gotta protect Hippo and drop a rock. Well, it's like my only way. Yeah, because I, I do have that Assault Fest, but we still might go down on this. This is scary. I don't know withdrawal. Okay, withdrawal's whimsy. I'm cool with that. Who's he gonna go into from here? He's gonna show his final Pokemon, which is going to be the Shadow Rider Cal. Cali Rex, yeah, yeah. Cali Rex, yeah, yeah. And now we can't eat our citrus berry, which is a little whack, but we're protecting our hippo. Our big, bulky hippo. And we know the water spout's coming in hot. Yeah, there it is. Come on, yo. X control. Do me a favor. We gave you a soul vest for a reason. That's why we gave it to you. Let's go. Let's go. Eat it up all day, baby. X drill. Drop and rock now. Big old damage. Yes, sir. Yes to the sir. Yes to the sir. We change back out weather. He could definitely swap into Kyogre, but now we're going to just focus on just Calyrex. Um, I wonder if my actual can outspeed a Calyrex. I really do, because Calyrex is so dang fast. It's so dang fast. Let me see your speed. Actual, come on. You're doing good on the speed board. Yeah, we should. We should. I should be able to outspeed him. 120 times 2. Is it a sand rush? Should be able to outspeed him. So from here, it's going to quake, get the special defense boost. I forgot we were plus one on special defense uh, as well. And I could go into a high horsepower. Yeah, you know, I'll go for it. I'll go for this all day. Let's see what he does. You know, which all the guy. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. Fine with that. As long as my, my boy outspeeds. Oh, is he protecting? Okay, that's a solid protect. But at least we get these special defense boosts. He's going to set up a tailwind after this. A lovely little tailwind. Quake's coming out here. He has three special attackers. I love it. I love it. Plus two on special defense. Let's see my bulky hit Paladon. 
Really good, really good. Special defense through the roof. Okay, so we're here. He's definitely tailwind the next turn. All day long. We know that for a fact. But uh, high horsepower comes out here. And we're going to chip up some damage. There's that. And oh, the ro Rocky helmet. Yo, what women's got rocks a Rocky helmet? A Rocky helmet. That's scary. That's definitely scary. But we still have your belt in the back end, which is gorgeous. Alongside with my boy Zass. Really, really good. Uh, what do we do from here? Uh, ch 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 it's definitely Tailwind. We know that. Let's go for Astro Barrage. I think I shouldn't worry about the one. I just straight up shouldn't worry about that guy. I should just double down into this thing. This one's guy's really not going to do much late in the game. But he's going for Helping Hand. Yo, Extra might be able to outspeed. Outspeed him, Maxi. Let's go, Extra Joe. Take him out. Do him dirty. Or flinch him. Flinch him. Flinch him. Oh, my lord. X can drill. X control. I can't believe you didn't go for Tailwind. I can't believe you didn't go for Tailwind. And I'm thankful that I switched my move last second because I was targeting down that Wimscott. That just won us the game. That just solidified it. Because this guy had a shot. He had a shot if he went into Tailwind and then Astro Barrage. Astro Barrage probably would have taken out my extra. Would have been kind of close. Like I said, we're Assault Vest and we're plus two on defense. But that's really what he needed. Like, Hit on wouldn't really did, do too much. But that's just huge all around. That's shoes all around. He switches up the weather. He's going to pick up easy double kill. I'm just going to try to do this. And if I can get off of Yawn, that'd be gorgeous. I'll go for it all day. I'll go for it all day. But yeah, Tailwind, maybe Origin Pulse, Helping Hand, Origin Pulse. We shall see. We shall see what he wants to do with Kyogre. But we still have the goats in the back end. We have Yvelta and Zassi. Full HP. Ready to go. Life forward on him. We're ready to rock with those guys. We're ready to rock with those guys. Let's see my dudes play. Let's see Mr. Guy's play. Helping help him hand again. This guy does not care about speed. Well, he knows that he outspeeds us, so. Should go next. Origin Pulse, yeah. I should say bye. Actually, Extra is probably dead, but Hippowdon might be able to eat that. No, Hippowdon does not. I thought maybe because he was plus two. Crit on Extra. Do not tell me it was a double crit. Do not tell me it was a double crit. Okay, it wasn't a double crit. That's fine. All right, so he picks up the double kill. He's sitting there, and now we got the fast boys out here. We got the fast boots. We are ready to roll. He cannot take out my, my Zassi with an Origin Pulse. Water Spout's a different story, but he's not full HP. So I'm not worried about him. I could protect. I could protect Zassi all day, and I think I might do that. I think I might do that. Protect Zassi. Actually, what's it matter? We outspeed. Unless he tailwinds. Unless he tailwinds. Living Wing. And, you know, yeah, yo. I'm just going to protect this dude. Living Wing should be able to do enough damage. 80 base power. Stab. We got Life Orb on it. I'm digging it a lot. I am digging it a lot. And dude, this guy's just ripping helping hands. No tailwind. It's fine. Yvelta outspeeds. Yvelta outspeeds. And I think Yvelta's just going to be able to take out. Yeah, I keep thinking he's going to go into tailwind, man. I really do. I wouldn't know that. I would have just Behemoth Blade and did this. Because down goes Kyogre. Get him out of here. And that's going to be GG's. Yvelta and Zassian versus Wimscott. It's 100% win rate for us. 100% win rate. Unless this Wimscott's on steroids. Then we got a problem. Then we have a problem, but there it is, guys. Oblivion Wing into this Wimscott slot. Alongside with a lovely little Behemoth Blade. Coming in hot, but our opponent probably just canceled the battle, right? Am I correct? No, he stays in. And lets his poor little cotton ball die. To a giant dog with a sword. In there it is, yo. Winning record for today's video. You gotta love it. This team was absolutely amazing. A winning record with one of my favorite Pokemons of all time, Extral. And we got to show off the Extral and Hippowdon Sandstream combo to its fullest potential. First battle was so clutch with the Hippowdon. Second battle was a close one. We ended up losing with that. But then third and final battle, my boy Extral totally shined in that battle, taking out the Pikachu in first turn and just giving us that upper hand. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.